wise point. This is Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines. He is very talented and versatile genius. He is the seventh of the eleven children of Francisco and Chudora. Now, let's talk about his life when he was still studying. Wise point. Year 1864. When Jose was three years old, like other children, his first teacher was his mother. She taught him church prayers and songs, etiquette, names and different types of plants in their house, and of course the alphabet in which he had memorized at the age of three. He also had a private tutor, Professor Celestino, Professor Lucas Padua, that teaches him arithmetic, and Professor Leon Monroy, who is also former classmate of Hus's father. Wise point. Year, 1870. When Professor Leon died, Husse's mother decided to enroll him to school in Binan. Husse also experienced bullying and was even challenged by his classmate, who said to be the son of their professor. But because Husse had a knack for wrestling, he won. On the other hand, Andressa Landon, his another classmate, defeated him because Husse was small and Andress was much stronger than him. At that year, he also developed his skills in arts with the help of Hu Wan Chu Wise point. Year 1872. In July 1872, Hu went to Manila to take a test for Christian studies, arithmetic and reading lessons at the College of San Juan de Latron, and he passed it. But his father's decision changed, and he chose Hu to study at the Teneo. Jose went to Manila again with his older brother to take care of his studies at the Teneo. He used the surname Rizal in his studies at the Teneo because the surname Mercado was suspected by the Spaniards. At first, Father Margin Fernando didn't accept him, because of the following reasons, he is late for the enrollment. He looks small for his age. He looks sick. But because of Father Manuel Sarex Burgos, who is their friend. Who say got accepted in Teneo. Wise point. In his first year in Ateneo, 1872 to 1873, Father Husay Vec became his first teacher. Compared to his classmates, he did not have such extensive knowledge of the language Spanish, so he was in a low rank in the Cartagena Empire. Because of that, Jose studied lessons at Colegio de Santa Isabel during his free time for three pesos. And at the end of a month, he leads their class called Emperor. In Jose's first year in Ateneo, he also joined a fraternity, named Mary and St. Louis Gonzaga, which the members are students with the highest ranking in each of their class. And their meeting was held every Sunday. At the end of the year, he was one of the nine best students, but unfortunately he didn't receive any award. Wise point. In his second year in Ateneo, 1873 to 1874, Rizal got one gold medal. Husay decided to live in Cali Magallanes inside the Intramuros. In this year, he also became more interested in reading books and some of these are The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, Travels in the Philippines by Dr. Fedor Hager, and Universal History by Caesar Cantu, that he even asked his father. At this year, he visited his mother who was in jail, and he also predicted when his mother would be released. Which had happened later on. Wise point. His third year in Ateneo. 1874 to 1875. He received an award for their quarterly examination. He received one medal for Latin. And he started to love reading romance novels. Wise point. His fourth year in Ateneo, 1875 to 1876. Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez, gave him advice, and told him to continue studying and writing poems. Who say describe him as one of the best teacher, that's why he is his favorite. March 23, 1876, he finished Bachelor of Arts with the highest grade in all subjects. Such as, philosophy, biology, linguistic, physics and others. Wise point. His last year in Teneo. 
1876-1877. During his last year at the Teneo, he studied philosophy, physics, chemistry, and natural history. And here are some of his former teachers. And because of Riesel's efforts, he graduated from the Teneo on March 3, 1877, with the highest grade called Sober Saliente. Wise point. Riesel at University of Santo Tomas. Even Riesel's mother was against on his decision to continue his studies at the University of Santo Tomas, he still pursue it. He chose the course philosophy and letters because of two reasons. Number one. Because that is what his father wants. Number two. He was not yet sure what he really wants to study. During his first year at the University of Santo Tomas, he studied cosmology, mathematics, theology, and the history of philosophy. And because Riesel studied hard, he even took a vocational course, which is survey at the Teneo. After Hus's first year in University of Santo Tomas, he finally decided to study medicine, which was suggested by Father Rector, and also to cure his own mother. At the age of 17, he passed the exam in his vocational course, and he had the title Perito Agrimenser, which means expert surveyor. But he was not immediately given the title, because he was not of legal age that time. Wise point. When Jose was studying in University of Santo Tomas, he also had bad experiences. Number 1. Dominican professors did not look at him well. Number 2. Filipino students like him, experienced discrimination. Number 3. The teaching system was primitive and oppressive. Number 4. In 1878 he experienced brutality from a Spanish official. On the other hand, there are also good experiences. Number 1. Year 1879, he won first place, in a literature contest, in Liceo Artistico. Number 2. Year 1881, he joined literature contest for the 4th Death Center of Cervantes. He also won the first prize here, but the Spanish community opposed it. Wise point. Rizal in Madrid. October 3. 1882, at the age of 21, Riesel went to Madrid to continue his medical studies. This is also the first time that Riesel did not ask permission from his parents, because he knew they would stop him. The only one who knew of his departure, was his older brother. He took two courses in Madrid, medicine, and philosophy and letters. He stayed in the center of Madrid, to save on transportation. It is said that he moved the boarding house nine times, because his rent payment was often short, and his allowance from the Philippines, did not arrive on time. Although he continued to struggle in his studies, he still obtained a degree of licentiate in medicine, and completed his medical course on July 21, 1884. And because he was short of money that time, he was not able to submit his thesis, and he did not pay the appropriate amount for graduation so he was not given a diploma. In 1885, he completed his philosophy course. Riesel still did not stop studying and took ophthalmology course. After he studied in Madrid, he went to Paris. He lived there, and worked as an assistant to Dr. Louis de Weckert, a French ophthalmologist. In 1886, Riesel went to Germany. He worked at the University Eye Hospital with the help of Dr. Otto Becker. Also, because of the help of Dr. Otto Becker, who say graduated ophthalmology course. And this is the life of Dr. Husay Rizal when he was still studying. I hope you learn from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you again next time. Wise point.